Hello there, this is Jesse Coffee, and now I'm dealing with one of my messier shelves, uh, which would be my uh, the ones I devote to MGM and MGM Elliot tapes. Uh, first, there's ones uh, going up first, which are coming in book boxes. Beginning with the original 1980 printing of The Wizard of Oz. This is the. Uh, Yep, there it is. Uh, uh, taking a minute of meaning since it's been in my shelf. But the uh, tape is in great shape. Got the uh, uh, 105 sticker down on the bottom, and the tray is blank. And uh, this is the first of the MGM tapes that were released. Uh, 60,001, I can't argue with that. My previews were, um, uh, I have three MGM CBS tapes, this is the first of them, um, and, uh, the, the only one I have with CBS, MGM CBS branding at the store, and at the end, it's got previews for, uh, Fame, and she doesn't want to speak, so I see it, and, uh, most teams also had a preview for Mr. Boss itself, but there were some that didn't, uh, and, uh, now, you got to check out the uh, that one young VHS collector's YouTube channel one of these days because he's got um, it, I think he has the whole MGM CBS uh, catalog, almost all of the entire MGM CBS catalog uh, in his house. Next one is uh, Marks Brothers and Night in the Opera. Um, I think this one has the MGM UA logo on it. An actual tape. 1935, Marks Brothers, 70 Plaza. Next one is The Night of the Iguana with Richard Burton, Ava Gardner, Deborah Karen Sue Lin. This is a 1981 release, I think. Yes. Tape itself got the MGM UA tin in there and the MGM UA hologram, so it's definitely much later printing. And also the MGM UA logo on top of this. Now, onto my like actual MGM UA book boxes, beginning with um, Meet Me in St. Louis, uh, which hopefully tells it's a video cassette. <coughs> And this one is uh, it's about, up about three percent of the actual team. It's nineteen eighty three printing. And this one has a printing on it of uh, September third, nineteen eighty five. Only the property of someone named Barthold. Next one is That's Entertainment. Another one touted on video cassette. Now, here by Fred Astaire, uh, Bean Crosby, Gene Kelly, Peter Lawford, uh, Liza Minnelli. Donald O'Connor, Debbie Reynolds, Mickey Rooney, Frank Sinatra, Jamie Store, and uh, James Taylor. The only one of the That's Entertainment movies I have to date. They may, I, um, well, except for one of only two uh, That's Entertainment tapes I have actually. Uh, this is a tape from 1983 uh, again. And, uh,. A bit sped up, set times from the original uh, length of the tape. There's a hundred and twenty-two minutes. Uh, tape was printed on um, June fourth, nineteen eighty-five. Next one is Magambo, an MGMUA 
home video presentation. This one doesn't have any of his stuff there. And this is a team from 1983 again. Well, it says any one size there, but uh, I think it says any screen printing. Any screen printing. And notice that there's got a bit of odd fonts on the label there. And uh, this has the MGM, uh, MGM home video tin inside. So this is a layer printing. Uh, another layer printing. I think this has the MGM home video tin in there, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, it does. Uh, oh, fuck. Box is starting to fall apart for this one. Uh, the haunt, the cabin of haunted roof uh, with Elizabeth Taylor, Paul Newman, and Burl Ives. Yeah, this is a I think he three films. Or one of them. Or the damn company. This gives the MGM UA hologram there and which you don't see on a, a lot of teams. Most of the teams you see in it are most of uh, I think just most of the teams I have in our later printings of like earlier tapes. Next one is uh, the Great Caruso with uh, Bobby Alonzo and Anne Blith. This one says video cassette there again. Open this up. Ah. There it is. Unfortunately, some of these book boxes uh, clung together when I was in the shelf. When I was digging them out for you. And this one has a print date down there of May 27th, 1991. So it's definitely later printing. Got the MGM weights in the background there. MGM weights inside the box. Next one also has the uh, MGM Home Video 10 from when I checked it. Tarzan the Ape Man with both Derek and Richard Harris. Nineteen eighty one release originally, and this is an eighty three printing of it. Well, eighty two originally the tape is from. And this one has a new label on it, and. Uh, Got the uh, got an end label, but I don't think there's a print day under there. And uh, there's the MGM home video to inside the case. Uh, next one is Seafell Follies with Press Dare, Lucille Ball, Fanny Rice, Lucille Bremer. It's Judy Garland, Catherine Grayson, Gene Kelly, James Mellon, Lena Horne, Victor Moore, Red Skelton, Lester Williams, William Powell. This is a team from, I believe, 1983 again. And uh, does this have a Yep, it does. March 7, 1985. Next is uh, one of the betas that I have of MGM. Uh, Pennies from Heaven. So you can see they uh, came in smaller book boxes than the VHS tapes did. And also they have pictures down on the bottom. Instead of uh, above the, below the uh, main text. 1983 printing, 82 printing again, and this is a print date was uh, November 23rd, 1982. Next tape is Shaft. I'm Jimmy Way home video presentation again. This is a classic black exploitation film, of course. It's got the apologetic. This is a 
one of the earliest uh, uh, MGMUA teams I have with ratings stamped on the box because uh, you can tell that it's just an apologetic, the ring is just presented on an apologetic looking sticker there. Tape there. Be kind, rewind. R -E -R -R. This came from Video Electronics of Waynesboro, Virginia. And uh, it's got the MGM CBS hologram down there, which is uh, kind of interesting. Next tape, Midnight Cowboy with uh, Dustin Hoffman and John Voigt. Let's see if we can get it to focus there. And this is a uh, team from 1984 <clears throat> again. Nineteen nineteen, and uh, print it on um, November twenty fifth, nineteen eighty four. I think that reads. And it's got the MGMUA hole around there and the uh, tin. And uh, for some reason, there's a, an error on the tape where someone actually restarts the tape master midway through the uh, warning scroll, which is kind of hilarious. But however, uh, my DVD dub of the tape doesn't have that error uh, because I skipped through it for the dub. Uh, skip straight to where the tape master was started. Okay, next tape is uh, Easter Parade, uh, Dorvin Berlin 1, on VHS video cassette, hopefully. And this one is uh, recorded in Canada, as it says down there. It seems there. And I checked under there for a print date, I didn't find it. Let's get the MGM U8 in there, but it's back and cracked. Next tape is The Shoes of the Fisherman and uh, MGM UA home video presentation again, 1968 MGM film. There's the tape itself. And it's got the MGM home video tin and the dog bone MGM hologram there. Next tape is uh, Audrey Rose. Uh, uh, born 1959, died 1964, born 1964. It's got Marsha Mason, Sir Anthony Hopkins, and John Beck in it. And this one has a, a thing on the back. This was purchased from Blockbuster on November 7th, 1998. And uh, this time I actually bothered to print the PG sticker there. The rating sticker there, it's PG. And uh, this has a uh, weird sticker at the top. But notably it has like one of the earliest Blockbuster labels I've seen because it's got the uh, a big one there and says Please rewind or pay rewind fee of two dollars blockbuster videos. So it's a really plain sticker before the um it looked a little like this before the uh like well before the ones that came later on which had the um more familiar uh be a friend of me mind when you reach the end stuff on it and the actual blockbuster logo. Next one is the Vikings. Uh, with James Donald and Alexander Cox, uh, Kirk Douglas, uh, Tony Curtis, Ernest Borgnine, and Janet Lee. This is a T from uh, 1985. Yeah. And doesn't have anything down there. That's the MGM, that's the MGM video tin again. 
Next one is Running Scared with uh, Gregory Hines and Millie Crystal. This one has uh, an interesting, like, little history with the um, how the MGM uh, logo was used. It was reportedly the first. Uh, the trailer was reportedly the first sighting of the um, the uh, like the newer MGM logo anywhere on the tape. Uh, the uh, 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 the TV spot, I think, and uh, this one is the the 56 logo on it. It said 57 logo on it, and uh, this the the UK team doesn't have any logo on it. It's got the end label like this. You got the MGM you wait in, but the close captions at the end of the team, if you've seen the um, opening and closing I did to it on YouTube, actually have the um, the MGM Home Video logo at the end. Uh, MGM Home Video text uh, as the caption copyright notice there. Close caption text actually says MGM Home Video. And uh, this has got a premium for Spaceballs at the beginning. Next one is Year of the Dragon, uh, which is for sale at a reduced price. See for details. And this is a tape from uh, 1985, I think. Let's see what's under the end. Oh, there is a print thing under there. Of. Uh, March 4th, 1986, one of the more recent uh, Turner Own MGM movies, I think. And uh, if you take out this uh, insert, you know, the, the butt box is cut down to fit the clamshell. If you take out the butt box, you can see there this, uh, you'll see this text there. This film does not intend to demean or ignore the many positive features of Asian Americans, and specifically Chinese Asian. American communities, any similarity between the depiction in this film and any association, organization, individual, or Chinatown that exists in real life is accidental. This actually got picketed by uh, Asian Americans at the time for um, like, you know, the framing that they perceive, framing that they perceive as like tell racist. 1985 MGM film. And it's for sale or rent, apparently. They can't decide, apparently. And this comes from the warehouse. That's their sticker there. Next one is The Adventures of Don, Ju Don Juan. Uh, this is a pre 1950 Warner Brothers movie, of course. MWA. Book box of it from a nineteen eighty six there. And this comes from Ocean Video. That's the uh, end label. Let's see if there's a dip there is a print date. February fourth, nineteen eighty six. Now here's another uh, MGM book box I have, this time on B, uh, again. It's Woody Allen's Manhattan, or, uh, which was issued in widescreen at the insistence of Woody Allen, of course. Uh, Sorry, I found a sticker that fell outside the case of Deer of the Dragon, and I put it back in there. It says, in the film, producer's request, this film is presented... A full with water box format, the gray bars at the top of the bottom of the screen are normal for the layer box format. Uh, this is before um, layer boxing became almost near exclusive to Laserdisc with a few exceptions. And um, I think this is one of the first uh, layer box releases of a film ever. Of course, the FCC wouldn't allow black bars at the time, so this has the gray ones. Here's 1914 in there. And this was printed on 
March 1st, 1986. And there's the MGMUE to inside the box. <clears throat> Next time I feel of honor with the Canon Films release there. The only Canon book box I have from MGM. Terror and Tragedy During the Forgotten War. Nineteen seventeen, so one of the very uh, last from the run of MGM book boxes. Kind of tough to get out of the case, but I manage. I don't think there's a print data in there. And uh, where does it come from? I have no idea. Oh, it's from Lucky Video in uh, San Jose, California. And the next two uh, are my uh, cardboard slipcover MGM UA tapes uh, from, uh, these are, the first ones are ones that were printed during the book box era. So they were MGM UA's first cardboard slipcase tapes. Beginning with uh, On the Town with uh, Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra, Betty Garrett, and Ann Miller. And there's the uh, proof of purchase marker up there. This tape has the, uh, ooh, if I can get it out, box, nothing inside there. These are a bit hard to get out, these things out of the box at times. Printed on, uh, May 17th, 1985. Oh, this has, oh. Oh, that's what's... I think that's stuck to the cardboard box, though. Give me a second. It's a bit bent up. Let's see if I can unstick it. There we go. So this actually has the uh, MGM UA video cassette collection pamphlet in there. We've got ads for in here for tapes of uh, Latin American in Paris, uh, Dirty Dozen, Corvette Summer, Crescent and Pink Panther, Day in the Races, Dirty Dozen, and what else is in here? Uh, Beverly Brothers Reunion Concert, uh, Everything You Want to Know About Computers, Experience Before by High Essential. The Joy of Stocks, which sounds like a real big yawn, in comparison to the rest of the thing. Ugh. And uh, this has uh, well, an earlier Charles and the Man thing in there, which is interesting. I'll begin to end the sacred of them there, which I'll begin sometime. Uh, Till the Clouds Roll By, which is. Uh, a public domain movie, I think. Some torn dot. Weavers wasn't at a time which I wanted to see at some point. And, uh, Where the boys are, which is either the. Uh, I have to. Which I thought about getting on MGMA VHS, the original 1960 version. I think book box properties of it are scarce though. Any release before the Turner era of uh, the original Where the Boys Are is pretty scarce. Next is uh, Gigi, the winner of nine Academy Awards with uh, Leslie Caron, Maurice Chevalier, Louis Jordan. A 19, these are uh, these cardboard tapes are from 1985, so they during the box box now. Again, 
And this was printed on uh, May 13, 1985. I think these were all printed within a few days of each other or months. Uh, somewhere around there. Next I have Royal Wedding with Fred Astaire and Jane Powell. And uh, this is actually a public domain MGM uh, musical. But MGM decided to issue it on tape, apparently. Apparently just because... Uh, this was printed on um, June 24th, 1985. So this one was in the public domain, but MGM decided to issue their own tape of it for whatever reason. Uh, same thing with uh, Till the Clouds Were By, a tape, another tape MGM issued themselves, even though it's in the public domain. Next, I have Seven Brothers for Seven Brothers with uh, Jane Powell and Howard Keel. Classic, of course. I'm from 1954, the tape's in the 85 again. With the tape itself there. End label there. Printed during on uh, May 13, 1985, and the uh, and seeing in the rain. Printed May 3rd, 1985. So those are inside the key. And here are my, um, the ones I have in the clamshell from the book box era. Before we get into, I think, the rest of the um, MGM CBS tapes, I'm going to, MGM Women tapes, I'm going to mix them up with the, uh, Hogwarts and Cover Cases of these again. I have only one non US release on MGM, which I'll show at some point. Uh, Kind of jumbling my words of speech today. And I'm thinking things, certain things, as another things come to my real, as other things came to realization. I'm pretty weird thing today. It's a bit off. <laughs> this collection seems a bit off to you. Um, the video seems a bit off to you. Um, that's your reason for that. Next one is China Seas with uh, Claude Gable and uh, Gene Harlow. This is the only tape I have in the Diamond Jubilee collection. And this is from 1986. The MGMUA book box and the clamshell inside. And uh, that's the end label. It's got the black and white MGM UA logo and warning scroll in the beginning. Uh, this was printed on. March 4th, 1986. Then I have a video for kids tape of The Wizard of Oz. 1939 classic, of course. It's time for me to find. It says the dog bone hole is in, put inside the actual clamshell. And the label that fell off and it was printed on November 20th, 1985. And uh, here are my uh, musicals, uh, great musicals tapes. Beginning with uh, Anchors Away. Frank Sinatra, Catherine Grace, and Gene Kelly, of course. This is from 1987, so it's a very late um, boatboxer tape. I went to cardboard and pieces, uh, and uh, 
not much there. Next time, next one is um, that's dancing with uh, Fred Astaire in there. Uh, Fred Astaire, James Cagney, Sid Therese, Dan Daly, Dave Margot Fontaine, Bob Fosse, Michael Jackson. He's in this. Hmm. Um, Shirley MacLaine, Ann Miller, Donald Connor, Powell. Ginger Rogers, Shirley Temple, and John Travolta. This is a 1986 tape. And it's got the end label there. And what's the print date? July 1st, 1985. So this probably has a book box inside the 86 tape inside. Your clamshell, rather. Oh. Okay, let's move on now to Meet Me in St. Louis. This is the last of the M musicals, Green Musicals tapes. I have got the for an MGM updated MGM home video cassette collection in there. This time also including tapes of pre 1950s Warner Brothers stuff. Um, along with. Uh, It actually folds out a little bit. A holiday scene along with Mitch, which uh, would sound pretty esoteric for MGM UE, but might get that somewhere down the line. They showed some golden age of TV stuff on MGM UE in the early days. Motown 25. Now, that would be a definite. A uh, nice, definitely a nice add to the MGM book box series if it exists. Uh, and this book, this uh, booklet would tend to indicate that it is, that it does. Uh, Rock and Rule, nine and a half weeks, which I like to see at some point. Uh, has anyone found a copy of Wayne Newton Life at Hollywood Palladium? On MGM, I don't think anyone has. And uh, let's see, do I? I checked under there for a print date. I could not find it. Again, it was a bit hard to peel off for some reason. And then that way, there we go. Uh, next one is now we're on to the uh, post uh, book box MGM tapes that I have. Uh, the first of them is The Philadelphia Story with Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, and James Stewart. This one doesn't have the title on top there, which is odd. For these uh, cardboard slipcover MGM tapes. Uh, this is a 1987 one. So it's from after Ted Turner got the rights to this film and other pre 1986 MGM stuff. And this one is a print date down here, a couple of them actually, manufactured on November 19, 1989, and this was printed on, uh, printed on January 10, 1989 rather, and printed on. Uh, January 25th, 1989. So it's slightly earlier printing. Uh, next tape is uh, uh, Twice Told Tales with uh, Vincent Price, uh, Sebastian Kelly, uh, Beverly Garland, Brad Halsey, um, Richard Denning, and Joyce Taylor. It's 1963, United Artists film. This one is another late printing from August 28, 1990. And then I have, this one comes in the clamshell again. Um, MGM's Greatest Moments, a video sampler hosted by Ryan McDowell. Uh, this one has compilations of classic uh, stuff from MGM and Turner movies on it. And it also has a little booklet. 
that you get inside there where you get to fill out an order form to see how you got the, um, see what you wanted out of that. This is apparently someone wanted Gone with the Wind there. Wait, I forgot to show Gone with the Wind. I ought to get to right on that. I'll get to it in a little bit. And uh, apparently someone was into some Daffy Duck and Bucks Bunny. And uh, the uh, various different movies in MJ Man. And The Wizard of Oz, obviously, someone wanted. And uh, Barney Merrick and Hugh Festival, someone wrote Daffy Duck on there. Uh, I'm not sure if they ever turned in this form, but it looks like they wanted some. They wanted some interesting choices. It's some interesting things to want things to want to buy out of the whole damn thing. Uh, printed on December fifteenth, nineteen eighty-seven. Oh yeah, I have gone with the wind up there. This is one of my prized possessions. This is the uh, 1985 tape of it, which comes with, which slides out like this, and it's got a nice uh, booklet with everything you need to know about the film in it. This was one of the greatest Hollywood films ever made. Controversy over its uh, merits, artistic merits. Now, be damned. And this is what the two tapes come in. These have nice gold and brown labels. And this was printed on, um, part one was printed February 20th, 1985. Second part right up here. Printed on uh, February 24th, 1985. So let's put this in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna put these back in the in the slider. And this is the original printing because it actually is recorded on Maxell tape and it touts it's recorded on Maxell tape. Layer prints of that tape did not have the Maxell tending and were recorded on different tape stock. Next one is uh, the Amer An American in Paris, Academy Award winning Best Picture of 1951. This is a team from 1988 again. Print day on the team is November 29, 1988. Next is another copy of On the Town. This time from 1988. This actually opens from the back for some reason. And it was printed on October 17, 1988. Next I have Love Me or Leave Me with Doris Day and James Cagney. Nineteen eighty tape. It's got a bit of a proof of purchase to have the fell out of there. Oh. September twenty fourth, nineteen ninety one. That's the print date. I have a, a silver top and a gold top title uh, to get to. The silver top I have is West Side Story, winner of Best Picture of 1961. And it says uh, a great uh, musical from 1961. And uh, see the Steven Spielberg version if you haven't already. Just got the dark bottle and hologram down there. 
The gold top that I have is a uh, fiddler on the roof. Great Jewish classic, of course. Norman Jewish in film. One of three Academy Awards, of course. This is a team from 1988. It's got the FBI. These are earlier printings. They have the FBI warning down there. And they were printed on August 28, 1991. So this is part one. And I'll show you part two real quick. There it is part two. Okay, what do we have next? I'm some Hollywood tapes down there. One of them is Gold West with Groucho, Chico, and Harpo, Marx Brothers. There's a team from 1988. Printed on, uh, this is a much later printing. It's from September 9th, 1996. Next one is Donnie oh, Marietta, another ho ready for Hollywood tape. Nine ninety eight set. And this, there's a the tape there. It's got the MGMA hologram there. Next one is Fatal Beauty with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Nineteen eighty eight release. Again. I was print this was printed on August fourth, nineteen ninety three. It has the same tape master as the original printing. Next one is Casablanca. Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, and Paul Henry. On MGMUA home video again. Uh, this is uh, from after Chet Turner got the rights to it. This is pre-1951 around the spell. This has the Dolly Bone hologram down there. And uh, I mentioned a book called Be Frank Like Me. Um, in a, uh, in my Fox collection video, if you want to go check it out. And it's got, that, that one has the, um, in, in that one, the main character is obsessed with this film in particular. Next, next one is, um, uh, for me and my gal with Judy Garland. The team from 1988. And. Got the dog bone hollow around down there. Uh, next team is the big country. With uh, Gregory Peck, Gene Simmons and Charlton Heston. This is a 1990 uh, tape of it. One last before the going to be distributed by Warner. And this was a this has a this has the Warner Home Video stickers on there because uh, MGM teams were distributed by Warner during the 90s. Uh, this was put on January 31st, 1995. Next one, uh, the box is really beat up on this, but I found this one kind of cheaply one day. Uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven, Don Blue Film. Uh, tape is common everywhere else except where I live. 
that's any indication. The box is pretty beat up. This one, someone must have had a hell of a time with this when I was a kid. Uh, no, I wasn't a kid when this tape came out. But uh, someone was a kid when this tape came out and managed to play with it. Box a little bit and got messed up. And this was... This someone actually managed to peel down the hologram to reveal the print date on it. Which was August 19th, 1990. Next one is The Wizard of Oz, the uh, 50th anniversary tape. One of all its greatest films, of course. It's got the 1939-89 uh, 50th anniversary booklet in there. It's also got an ad for Downey Fabric Softener on it. And then it's got a book about the uh, Wizard of Oz in there. I think this has a Mickey Off each right on it as well. This one even comes with its own. If I can take it out. This one even comes with its own uh, custom label on it. And uh, it's a random sticker there. But I don't see a print date on it. So it's a weird little flap thing with the booklet in there. Uh, next tape is uh, Kelly's Heroes with uh, Clint Eastwood, Telly Savas, Don Rickles, Carol O'Connor, and Donald Sutherland. There's a 1970 film, this tape is from 1991. There's a print date down here of definitely 92, but it's under this hologram, so I can't read it. Next one is uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with uh, Dick Van Dyke, Sally Hills, Lionel Jeffries. The uh, box is starting to come apart on this. I got a factory seal and unwrapped it and everything, but. Box is starting to come off part on me. This is a 1989 tape again. Put it on uh, April 23rd, 1993. Next one is uh, Rolling Stones uh, presents 20 years of rock and roll. And uh, this, uh, I did the cutting down of the box myself. This is a severely edited uh, tape of the uh, the special, it cuts like about three minutes, I think, from the actual thing. It's got some vinyl stickers there, and I put a print date of June 2nd, 1989 down there. There'll be a chance marker down there. And I got the uh, uh, little tea from the uh, Tucson Public Library of Little Women. Uh, it says, uh, please return to, we're wanting to return to the library where borrow, do not use book shoots, keep cool heat sports videos, borrow, must pay for damage. <clears throat> This is a bit hard to open, but I managed to do it. And it's got the MGMUA thing down there. 
I think this was released in 1988 or 89. It doesn't have the back cover, so I can't quite tell which year this came out. Next is Love and Death with Woody Allen and Diane Keaton. This is a team from 1990 again. 20 on uh, February 16, 1994. I think one of the first Warner Distributor teams. I have to look at Next one is uh, David, Copper David Copperfield with W.C. Fields, uh, Freddie Bartholomew. This is the original 1935 version of it from MGM. This is from 1990. Yes, 1990. on August 4th, 1993. Got the MGM movie thing down the bottom. Next tape is What's New Pussycat with a uh, pussy, uh, Peter Sellers, uh, Peter O'Toole, Romy Schneider, uh, Capuchin, Paula Prentice, and Woody Allen, of course. One of uh, the earliest films he was in. And this is a tape from 1990 again. And this has a print date of November 24th, 1997. Next tape is uh, Thelma and Louise with uh, Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis. Somebody said get a life, so they did. Then they lost it at the end of the film. It's a Ridley Scott film, of course. One of the earliest war distributed uh, MGM UA tapes. It's a 1992 release. It has previews for... Uh, Shattered and Rush in the beginning in a soundtrack promo. And this was printed on uh, June 9, 1992, I think that is. A little bit hard to read that. Next one is uh, uh, Seeing the Rain, the uh, of course classic musical. 1993 tape of it this time. It has the MGM UA Home, MGM Home Entertainment label on it. And it was printed on June 5th, 1998. Next one is The Cutting Edge, which is a, uh, yeah, another MGM UA tape again from uh, 1992 this time. And uh, contrary to what the back cover says, this tape is not copy protected. I did the opening and closing to it to uh, demonstrate that much. And uh, this doesn't have a print day on it for some reason. It's got this on the side there. Next one is uh, Theater of Blood with Vincent Price and uh, Diane Rigg. This actor doesn't just break a leg. He knocks them dead one by one. This tape is from 1992 again. Oh. Here's the cassette itself. And the print day on the tape was August 8th, 1995. Next tape is MGM Musical's tape of The Great Caruso, the new remaster edition. This actually has a premium, I think, for... Uh, that's Entertainment Part 3 in the beginning. Which was the last of the franchise, I think. 1993, like I said. Printed on uh, December 19, 1994. Then I have uh, one of the great Christmas specials of all time. Uh, the Grinch Stole Christmas, narrated by Boris Karloff. One of the uh, one of the greatest Christmas specials ever made, I think. And this is a tape from 1990, 1994. This is a 1966 special. It has the MGM Home Entertainment label on it. It was printed July 2nd, 1998. Next tape is Lions War Video Magazine. 
An exciting inside look into Hollywood of the movies of MGMUA past and present. So this is a promotional sampler thing, I think. It's from 1994. And it was printed on February 8th, 1994. Then the only, like, James Bond thing I have on Festival Media to date. And this would be Dr. It just clung to the box art of another team. Dr. No. Which is a team from 1995, I think. That one's, the only James Bond thing I've seen is No Time to Die. I thought it was a good movie, but I need to, but I wanted to see the uh, all the previous ones first. So yeah, I got the uh, nothing there. And a little a uh, license to throw sweepstakes thing. And uh, among the prices, uh, BMW Roadster, uh, sharper image, $250 gift certificates, and the license to throw things, uh, deals and terms and conditions there. Theme there, and this was printed on March 28, 1995. And I'm going to put this in inside the box only James Bond I've seen was No Time to Die I like that one but I uh, I haven't seen the rest in their entirety sounds like I really have to at some point You know, I'm going to scrub the back cover of this next tape. I was just scrubbing the back cover of the next tape, which is Baby Boom with Diane Keaton, an unexpected comedy. This is uh, the only uh, MGM movie time tape I have. And it was printed on uh, January 22nd, 1997. Next one is The Birdcage, a great comedy from... In the LG, for the LGBTQ plus community, I, LGBTQIA plus community, uh, it's a uh, well. I came. This came in a. Um, this came in the contemporary classics case that had a different catalog number. Um, the contemporary classics tape of it did. Uh, so, I um, I just took it out of this case for now, and I hoping to find the um. Like actual cardboard slip cover keys to the uh, to this tape uh, attached to the contemporary classics one, so I could swap them around, or maybe I'll print my own. I'll print uh, out the case for this one that this might have come in, and st stick it to one of my videotape boxes. Print date is February twenty nine, February twenty ninth, nineteen ninety seven, and this is a great uh, LGBTQIA plus comedy again and. Uh, well, what can I say about it? I'm pans. Well, what else could I say about it? I'm pansexual. Next tape is a uh, MGM musicals tape of uh, uh, my 98 MGM musicals tapes. First of them is Bridge Dude uh, with Gene Kelly, Van Johnson, and Sid Therese. Nineteen ninety-eight cassette. Has a bit of yellowish-looking reels on there. And it was printed on November 26, 9, October 26, 1998. It's got the original theatrical trailer on it. And I have an American in Paris. This is a tape from 19, 1953 film, of course. February 5th, 1999 is the print date. Next one is High Society. Society with Mean Crosby, Grace Kelly, and Frank Sinatra. 1990 tape. 1998, cassette again. This one's actually uh, a slightly later print because it's got the Warner Home Video logo on the label. 
put it on um, February for December first, nineteen ninety nine. So it's a million printing. Next one, and it also has WHP on the site, so it's obviously a layer of printing. Next um, is on the town, which is a tea from nineteen ninety eight. With the printing of June eighth, nineteen ninety eight, uh, and then seeing in the rain, of course, the very last MGM VHS of it from nineteen ninety nine. And it's got the uh, MGM seventy fifth anniversary Franklin Buyer Program thing in there. Got the um, that's for this stuff at the bottom. Put it on um, March thirty first, nineteen ninety nine. Stick it in here. Okay, next ones are MGM uh, Family Entertainment teams. First of them is Old Old Dogs Christmas Carol, which I uh, which is actually a uh, the Spanish dub of it. Nineteen ninety eight tape. Again, printed on November first, nineteen ninety eight. But the promo stuff inside is actually in English. And it's got uh, promos in there for uh, Adventures of Robin Hood, All Dogs Go to Heaven movies, uh, Babes of Toyland, Black Stallions, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Christmas Story, Clash of the Titans, Courage of Lassie, Cry in the Wild, uh, Flippers, uh, Fluke, Getting Even with Dad, Hells of Home, Joey, uh, Larger Than Life, Little Monsters. Uh, Little Women, My Summer's Story, National Velvet, Please Don't Eat the Daisies, uh, Painted Hills, uh, Pre Prancer, Princess Bride, Tom Sawyer, Warriors of Virtue, Tom Thumb, Yearling, Yours, Mine, and Ours, and Zebra in the Kitchen. That's got the, uh, little ads in there for the Secret in M2 and the All Dogs Christmas Carol, which is tape is of, actually. And then there for the, uh, uh, the, some other MGM remake teams there, mailing remake. And then for, uh, Free Kids Andre at Denny's. There's a Spanish, uh, dub tape, but the promo stuff's in English for some reason. And then I have uh, a Christmas story from the MGM Family Entertainment line. 1998 tape of it. I put it in an MGM UA box. How about that? Print date is uh, June 9th, 1998. And this was the last Turner era. Turner own tile that uh, MGM did. Next I have the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. This is a tape from 1999. Uh, classic uh, animated cartoon starring the Fab, starring the Beatles, of course. One of the all-time legends of popular music. Brit date is August 27, 1999. I got that closed, there you go. Next, I have a couple of copies of The Silence of the Lambs with Jodie Foster, Alan Lee Hopkins, and Scott Glenn. There's a tape from 2000 and, uh, 1999 again. Printed on August 3rd, 2001. This has a preview for Hannibal at the beginning. This copy does, anyway. And now I'll show you another copy that I have of it. 
which is an earlier printing. It's got the 131 on the side though, so I don't think it has any previews on it. And it was printed on May 11th, 2000. And next one is uh, the Thomas Crown Affair with um, Pierce Boston and Renee Russo. How do you get the man who has everything? So these are the post Warner Distributed MGM tapes. Uh, one of the last Warner Distributed ones, actually. Printed on uh, January 5th, 2000. And it's got a 131 copy and inside, so it's definitely Columbia House. Next one is uh, uh, Legally Blonde with Reese Spoon. It's a team from 2001. Purchased from Blockbuster on December 10th, 2001. So someone was in a rush to watch this one. It's got a print in there. September 21st, 2001. I think that's what it says down there. Yep, September 21st, 2001. Next one is uh, Mystic Pizza. Another MGM Contemporary Classics. Tape this time from, this again from 2001, assembled in Mexico. I got some of the mold off of the tape. This one was pretty moldy when I got it. And uh, it's a big crack. It's September 14th, 2001. Next one is uh, the Producers. Classic from Mel Brooks. 2000 tape. Printed on May 21st, 2001. Next one is uh, Hoosiers, another contemporary classics tape. This time, check it out of the Tucson Pima Public Library at one time. And so on, the Pima store resold it for $3.99. Got their markings there. The Tucson Pima Public Library. Printing is August 1st, 2001. Next tape is Wind Talkers from, with Nicolas Cage. This is a tape from uh, 2002. That's right. There's tape there. Print day is February 14th, 2003. And the next one is Barber Shop, which apparently was bought at Walmart at some point. 2003 tape. From, uh, so it's got an invisible ink print date down there of, uh, January. Something 2004. Oh, let me turn on the flashlight so I can read a little bit better. Oh, yeah, January 9th, 2004. Then I have Dark Blue with Kurt Russell. The first great movie of 2003, according to Us Weekly. There's another 2003 release there. Purchased from Blockbuster September 21st, 2003. And this was printed on May 12th, 2003. And my most recent MGM Way VHS, VHS, it's a special edition of Legally Blonde 2, uh, Red, White, and Blonde. That's a tape from 2003, it says on the back. But actually, this team's from 2004. Uh, the reprinting of it. Still got the original team master, though. And it was printed on November, th January 30th, 2004. Yeah. The 
that's it for the VHS end of things. I'll see you for the DVD end of things later. And for the related titles from MGM.